The layer and property palettes are completely different animals in AutoCAD for Mac. For starters, Mac users refer to it as the Properties Inspector, not the Properties Palette. Let's take a look through these two very important features and, and I'll be sure to share some tips along the way. Getting to the Layers Palette or the Properties Inspector is easy. Just go to the menu bar, select Tools, and underneath Palettes, you'll find both of them. Let's start out with the Properties Inspector. If nothing in your drawing is selected, the Properties Inspector is simply going to give you information about the drawing, what the current layer is, what the current text style is, or the current dimension style. As soon as you select an object, like in this example where I'm selecting M text, you will get information pertaining to that specific object. Now there are two categories here. There's Essentials, which gives you the basic information that most of us want when we go into Properties, and there's also All, which can give you a very long list of everything you could possibly ever want to know about the selected object. If you select more than one object, for example, I'm going to come over here and select another M text object, then the Properties Inspector is going to display the properties that are common between the two objects. As soon as I select an object that has nothing to do with M text, like this line up here, for example, you will see that the Properties Inspector displays very little information because there really aren't that many properties that are common between those three objects. I happen to love the fact that it's really easy to get to match properties from here. Now, I use that command all the time. For example, I'll reselect that M text object and say Match Properties. And then if I select something else in this drawing, like maybe this black line right here, you will see that all of the properties from M text have now been passed on to that line. So now it has the same layer, the same colors, line types, etc. Let's move on to the Layers palette. Let's go up to Tools again, go to Palettes, and then you'll see it's very easy to select Layers. Now, listed up here, of course, is the current layer. If you want to switch to another current layer, no problem. Use the drop-down list and simply select the layer that you want to change to. It's just that easy. You can also make some basic modifications from this drop-down list. For example, I want the color for this particular layer to be different. I don't want it to be magenta anymore, so I'm going to select the color block. And let's decide maybe that should be a green color, just for example. Easy enough, you should be able to have seen that change happen inside of my join. You can make other changes up here as well. For example, you can freeze layers, you can lock layers, you can turn layers on and off. You can do it from the drop down list, or you can do it from the layer list down here. Now, the layer list down here is much more extensive. Here you will see many, many more categories. In fact, if you want to, you can actually take this dialog box and pull it out so that you can see quite a bit more information, just like the Layer Properties Manager that we're used to seeing inside of AutoCAD running on Windows. Now, something that is very different, if any layer is in its default setting, for example, if a layer is not frozen, you'll actually see that no icon will show up, but it's easy enough to freeze a layer, no problem, just by selecting. You have complete control over which columns are displayed. In this situation, you'll see that not all the different columns are, are displayed. You're going to pick the ones that work for you. It's easy to add a layer. By default, it's going to name it Layer 1, Layer 2, Layer 3. Let's call this a Notes, for example. It's also easy to remove layers as well. Just select the layer and hit Remove. Of course, it won't let you delete that layer unless it's absolutely empty, right? And it's easy to search. I love this feature. Super easy to search for layers. And if you have a, a drawing with many, many layers like this one, it can really come in handy. Let's just see what it finds when I type in door, for example. I actually like to work with both of these when they're collapsed to icons because I'm pretty greedy with my screen real estate. Here you'll see on the right hand side, here are our layers. Here are our Properties Inspector, and there are our tool sets. Let's go back into layers because I just want to point out one more thing. You'll see at the top a variety of commands that we use all the time with our layers. Here's make current, layer match, layer P or previous layer, isolate, unisolate, etc. So make sure you use those tools because that's going to really save you a lot of time when it comes to layers. And one last thing, I like to hide the layer list unless I'm really working on changing the states of those layers or making major modifications, I usually keep that short and sweet. And I also keep it pretty small and condensed on the right hand side of my screen. I think you're going to find the Layers Palette and the Properties Inspector to be two great new features in AutoCAD for Mac. But don't just take my word for it, give them a try.